I didn't envision me as a scientist. I don't think I even have the thought about uh, science at all when I was a child. I was positive that a shark is not a... Eat me! Our group is devoted to understand the uh, mechanism of resistance to different uh, treatments of cancer. My goal with my research is to understand what are the Achilles heels of the tumor cells. Can we identify more of these kind of critical pathways and can we develop inhibitors or, or so on to really target these ones? And how can I use them in combination with chemo and radiotherapy? The good part of my work in Micha's lab and also in the collection is that I get to go and collect sponges. I really like the connection between uh, being able to go to the sea, to know where to find the sponges, take students with me to collect the sponges, go out of the water, go to the lab and identify them. and then send samples to the different uh, labs that we work with and then get the result and get excited about new results and it's really lifeful, active, promising. The question one always get when one say okay I work at the Karolinska, okay you are a doctor, no not really, okay what are you then? Oh. You're a nurse? No, not really. <laughs> and then it's ah, oh, you're so, ah, oh, you're one of these guys. And then they, you see that something is uh, blinking in the eyes and they think that you are, you are going to get the Nobel Prize. So my vision when I was a child, I wanted to become a nurse first, and then I wanted to become a doctor, and then I wanted to become something else, and then I wanted to become a, a professional singer. That was for quite a long time. So uh, originally I was actually interested in law, so I tried to be <laughs> become a lawyer, but uh, or I actually applied to the lawyer school. But uh, at that time it was very difficult to get into lawyer school, and uh, hope it was really great that I didn't. But the minute I put my eyes into the water and I saw the corals and the colorful fish, I said, I don't care, I don't mind. I want to see this. During my army service, I took a diving course. And every vacation that I had, I used to come to a land and scuba dive. And that's how I got to know the marine environment. Then since I had my marine, my uh, scuba diving uh, license, when I started to study in the university and I saw this uh, note that they are looking for students, I could, I could apply. And then I stopped, I took a break and I went to work outside. A diagnostic company. I learned a lot, but I didn't like it. I had to go back to the university, go back to the sea. I had to travel a lot to Egypt, to Eritrea, and I built a family on the way, which is not easy. Yeah, I, I have three kids now and they were all born during my PhD, so it can be done, it's not easy. Uh, things may take longer, but it's possible. I had a teacher, and she was really challenging us sometimes. And she had a she had a quotation like, uh, "Workers go to workers, and academia goes to academia." And this made me really angry. My parents are workers, hard workers, and has always been. So I was really frustrated, and I said, "Okay, let's challenge this." And that I really have kept on all the time. That. You can do whatever you want. Nowadays I'm not doing so much of the actual pipetting in the lab work. I try to do it now and then to not um, lose my skills. But uh, most of the time uh, I am uh, looking into the results of PhD students, of the technician, trying to understand the results, discussing with them a lot, preparing the manuscripts and so on, and, and uh, trying to get also funding for our research and granting grant applications and so on and so forth. So this is part of my work. A lot of, of work in, in front of the computer, but also a lot of nice discussion. To manage a lab means you have to take care of everything from students and their scientific questions and problems and consult with you, with me. And I talk to them, we work as a group. 
Uh, this is a, ve a very important uh, part of my job. And then all the logistics of the lab. If you need, we need to order equipment, chemicals. They always consult me. I control the budget. <laughs> how I balance the science life and the private life. In my case, I think I don't balance it. <laughs> how good you are in balancing uh, depends on uh, how you are as a person. Uh, I think there are actually, quite often there are women that actually are very good in balancing science and, and private life. Science takes a lot of time. It's not a 40 hour week, but on the other hand, you have the flexibility, you have the, like, the um, stimulants, and it's a, a lot of interesting stuff that you can get uh, hold of. But you really have to be devoted, especially if you are going to do the PhD studies, because it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot, but on, on the other hand, in the end, you have your thesis, and that is only yours, so. There's a lot, a lot. To do and I'm a reporter. I have my whole life in front of me. <laughs>